Hello, so today on Mr. Reviews, we're going to be covering the 1910s. Now, um, yeah, I, I think it would be a good idea to get my phone out here because I've, again, I, I, IMDB um, checked films that came out in those times and it would be um, just interesting to see which ones were around back then. Um, so what I've got down is um, there was an Alice in Wonderland adaptation in 1915. <laughs> uh, so I, I'm not sure in terms of the timeline of the Disney film, how, where that lines up, but um, I think that would be interesting to see in live action. Um, 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea was in 1916 and uh, Sherlock Holmes adaptation was in the same year as well. Um, we had a Cleopatra in 1917. I think I've heard of that one before. And the year, not uh, the the film in the year, not not 1917. <laughs> that's that's actually very very good. I could talk all day about that one. Sam Mendes, um, genius for that. Um, and yes, I've I've also seen Tarzan of the Apes in 1918. So it seemed as if modern IPs were starting to establish themselves even then, back in the um, 1910s. And it, because I mean, we can all agree at the very least. Three of these five, these are definitely major players still very much, and uh, especially two of them, Sherlock and Tarzan, they're still very much around, even though Alice in Wonderland's sort of a thing. Oh wait, no, well of course, yeah, the, the Tim Burton films, yeah. Or Phil, I'm not sure if he directed for The Looking Glass. Someone might have to correct me on that, but he, I, I'm almost certain he did the first one in 2010, I think it was. So that's um, like pretty much a hundred years, um, nearly a hundred years later from this really, I think. Yeah, I think it would have been in 95 years since this adaptation when uh, the Tim Burton's film came out, I'm almost certain of that. But yeah, it's, it's just, it's interesting though really, so IPs were already establishing themselves even back then. So next time I'll be covering the 1920s and I'll see you all later. Goodbye.